You avoiding me by any chance? You're the one hiding in there. Maybe I'm tired of getting the cold shoulder. Don't you think it's time to let this go? I've just lost a grandson. And Adam's in a mess. At least you can still see him. They're not a million miles away. So you're still having a go at me for Debbie leaving, and yet you hire Ross? If that's not double standards, I don't know what is. You keep telling yourself that. I swear I could brain him sometimes. Oh, me and my big mouth. I wish I never told you about that gun. Oh, I'm glad you did. Besides, it's not just Debbie he's annoyed about. He's got a list. Well, he's wrong. Thank you. It's nice to know someone listens to me. Um, shouldn't you be carrying the meat order? Yeah, sorry, we're running behind. Oh, he's got a lot to deal with. Yeah, of course. I heard about Adam. Can't be easy. No. No, it's really not. Why are you looking at me? Look, I know it's none of my business, but more has got enough going on without you giving her a hard time. Yeah, and what would you know about it? Listen, uh, tell her not to worry about the order. I can call for a day or two. Fewer ingredients means better creativity, right? <laughs> I asked Moira not to tell anyone about Russell and the gun. She was keeping it a secret from me. Well, I'm not just anyone, am I? I'm her husband. To start acting like it. Have you finished? I'd offer you one, but I'm guessing you're not stopping. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Give you a chance to have another little heart to heart with Pete, play the martyr. Is that really all you think of me? Now, what am I supposed to think when he starts mouthing off at me in the pub like he knows my business? OK. Maybe I have talked to him. But can you blame me after the way you've been lately? The way I've been? You look after your family and you drop mine like a stone. I didn't choose Pete over Debbie, if that's what you think. That's not why she left. If I'd have known, I could have done something about it. Fine. Have it your way. Give Ross a job, blame me. It's all my fault, right? Well, I expect that from Ross as a low life. So what does that say about me? Nice. You know, Kane, there was a time I thought we could get through anything life threw at us. And now? I don't know anymore. Yeah. Well, that makes two of us. Kane! Kane! <laughs> oh, you're a lifesaver. People are starting to notice the lentils in the cottage pie. Time for a drink. I'd love one, but just not here. I'm trying to keep out of Keane's way. If I were you, I'd do the same. He told me you had words earlier. Yeah, I, um, I should have kept my nose out. I'm sorry. Don't be. To be honest, it's nice to know someone's fighting my corner for a change. As long as I didn't make things worse. No, Keane did that all by himself. Aye. Trying to wind me up. Should have finished this hours ago. Oh yeah, cause fitting a gearbox is a ten minute job. Get real. Oi. Oh, so cause Maura's giving you a hard time, I get it in the neck. Listen, you get it in the neck because I can't stand to even look at you. Let alone listen to all the bull that comes out your mouth. So why don't you do us both a favour and shut up? No problem. What do I know anyway? Your marriage has got nothing to do with me, right? I was meant to be shifting those. Why? Because of some stupid macho pride. This farm ran perfectly well before you came here. Yeah, I know. It's not what I meant. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, ignore me. I didn't mean to snap at you. Listen, I'm the one who should be sorry. Should have known Kane wouldn't have listened. Yeah, well, I'm big enough to deal with my own problems, especially when it comes to Kane. Well, I consider myself told off then. You're not being told off. I just like being able to talk to you and let off steam. It means a lot. I don't want to lose that. Me too. I mean, you're the only one I can talk to about prison. Then it looks like we need each other. But from now on, can we just keep things between you and me? Like that. Yeah. Hey, and didn't you mention something about a beer earlier? Don't know about you, but I'm spitting feathers here. I'll go and grab a few. <laughs> <laughs> 